excuse the mess. It's kind of a mess in here. I need to clean it up. But the Sony Webby decided to work today. So I am going to show my uh, JVC color video monitor. It is a TM-270SU. Now, like I said, this is a video monitor. And I'm going to show you uh, the where you plug everything in here in a second. Let me just lift this speaker down so I can get a little better angle on it. Ugh. Everybody knows I love these speakers, but man, they are heavy. You can see uh, I've got input A is composite video in and out audio with an audio in. Input B is a composite video RCA versus the BNC. And an S video with a little switch down below the jacks to switch between them and an audio in. And there's RGB plus sync with an audio in. Speaker out. I don't know the power on that, but if it's 5 watts a channel, that I'd be surprised if it's that much. Probably between 1 to 5. It's not much. Up here are all the controls for it. The input, the volume, and all the controls for it the remote in and out I'm not dead sure what that does and of course the power button and you can see there are some threaded uh, holes there and I'm guessing those are where you'd attach some speakers for this and then they'd hook on to the clip connectors there so I'm going to turn this on now And that's it's no signal display. And I'm gonna just let's just cycle through the inputs just so you can see how it does. So there's RGB for the RGBS input, input A, and we're back to input B. Turn this on, that's the what the screen on my Blu-ray player looks like when it's turned on. It sucks, I have to hook it up composite. I'm hoping to get a adapter that'll let me convert the component output of the Blu-ray player to the RGBS. I'm gonna order that, hopefully a little later tonight. Or the cable for it. I've got one that might work, I'm not sure. It's a freebie, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, we've got, uh, here's the uh, Blu-ray player on composite. Let's switch over to S-Video. Oh, whoops. There we go. This is the uh, my Super VHS VCR with, uh, hooked with the DTV converter box hooked through it. You can see the uh, radar on there. It's quite warm outside. I'm sure where it is where I live is pretty close to the same temperature. But it gives you kind of a good idea of the picture quality on this. I mean, for just being a composite video, it's got a very clear picture even on composite. But anyway, I wanted to get this video out. It's because this is kind of an interesting piece of equipment. I paid $35 for, $35 for a couple... Um, I've had it for well, three, four years. I bought it at an auction. It weighs a ton. Bit, uh, it was made in 93, I think. And I think it was actually made in Japan. I'm not dead sure on that. But uh, it was manufactured in, I believe, 1993. So anyway, that's it for now.